11 starts right now. Noxious odors from two chicken plants in downtown Chattanooga are discouraging some people from moving to and doing business in that area. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Tonight, the Chattanooga City Council planned to vote an amendment to help curb those odors. Bliss segment explains what elected officials are doing to stop the smells. Bliss. Josh Kim, counselors moved to defer the vote on the amendment until April 9th. Tonight, members said they need more time to see how new additions to an existing amendment would affect both the chicken plants as well as other businesses that might produce noxious odors. Meanwhile, some people say the chicken plants are making the area less desirable, affecting businesses and growth. We have a lot of good neighbors, but we have a couple of smelly ones too. Summer Harrison's family business just moved to the south side. Historic elements in this area helps add to their art gallery. But Harrison says the smell stemming from the Coke chicken plant does not. We're trying to uh, sell some classy art here, so it's not that great when people come in, walk through the door for the first time, and all they're talking about is what it smells like outside. Some elected officials are working to stop the smell. Chattanooga City Chairman Ken Smith is pushing to update an ordinance that would amend the city code for health nuisances, adding a section that singles out noxious odors. There was a city stormwater drain, so it's on city property, it's in the street, and the drain was almost completely clogged with feathers and other chicken parts. So number one, we have biological contaminants leaving site. Smith said the amendment will allow the health department to better enforce violations and clarify language to help hold businesses producing noxious odors more accountable. We don't want you to leave. We want you to stay here. We want you to employ people. We want those jobs here. They're all very important to our community. We just want you to do the right thing and do what you're supposed to do. One of the facilities in question, Pilgrims, released a statement today saying in part, as a long-standing local business with more than 1,200 team members, we always strive to be a good neighbor. We are hopeful the city council will take the time to make a thoughtful and balanced decision that respects both the public and local businesses. Very strong, sometimes nauseating, and I love the street. It's so close to a big place in Chattanooga, but that is a huge factor in whether or not I'd like to live on the street. It's also affecting people's decision to move here. Abigail Frazier decided not to move into a house on this street because of the smell from the chicken plants. She thinks if the stench continues, more people and businesses will steer clear of this area. Different amendments have been proposed by the city councilors. The most recent was introduced today. Chairman Ken Smith told me it would include language that would focus on smells coming from animal fowl. Kim. Liz, thank you. Chairman Smith says the amendment would not specifically apply to the two chicken plants named in the story. Any business that violates the noxious odors order could be held.